Most of the time when you hear that social media is a toxic platform, you think about all of the Instagram models, all of the people traveling for a living, all of the people posting how skinny they are, and all of this stuff that is based in the actual content of social media. So I'm thinking to myself, is this all it is? Is, is that really all it is? And I realized, no, that is not all it is. Social media, it has this sort of eeriness about it, especially when you're posting, right? Where do you think that feeling of anxiety comes from when you post something? I don't know if you do this anymore, but I remember when I was in like high school, middle school, when I first had Instagram, it was like a big thing for me to post. I would think about how other people would look at it, whether it'll get enough likes, whether it'll get enough comments. I was looking at how other people would perceive my post. And it's like, why the fuck are you even, why do you even care how people are gonna look at your post? Like when you break it down, why do you even care? But you just wanna feel validated, right? It's normal. So I'm thinking about it. Why is this such a thing in our lives? And I came to realize the actual reason that social media is so toxic. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. So I have about 800 followers on Instagram. When I post a photo, it gets maybe 150 likes, right? So that means that about 700 people see the post, view it, don't interact with it at all, and just continue going on. So especially with story posts, when you can see everybody that's seen your story, but just does not interact with it in the slightest, you're just thinking to yourself, damn, what did this person think? What did this person think of this? But the problem is, and the reason that social media is so toxic is because it's like you have a bunch of stalkers, you know, that you're trying to impress, that are judging your every move and you have no idea what they think. But, but the possibility that you might see them because they're acquaintances or whatever, whatever they are, you know, you, you keep them on your Instagram for that reason. And, and it's not just on Instagram, it's on TikTok too. And TikTok in a way it's even worse because it actually shows up when the likes are going up on the side of your post, who sees your post? Like who of your mutual friends just saw your post, right? Had no interaction with it, didn't like it, didn't comment on it. So that means they saw it, thought something in their head and moved on. And they're probably, well, you can only, you can only imagine what they thought, but it's probably something negative, right? You would think because if they didn't like it or if they didn't comment it, comment on it, what did you not like it? So that's the thing. It's like these little things, these little mind games that social media inflicts upon you. It just fucks up your vibration because it's kind of like, a negative feeling seeing that somebody saw something that you posted or did but just didn't interact with it at all so you can only you can only think that they think it's whack because why else would they not interact with it you know what i mean and 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 this is just a very toxic thing because of this ever since i realized this i realized this like a while ago i've just been like clearing people off of my social media like but you can't clear everyone off, obviously. Like if I cleared all of the people off that I'm not really like close friends with, I'd have like five followers. And like, you know, that's not what social media is. Get a lot of these people off of your social media that you don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching has hundreds, thousands of followers. Do you know a thousand people? Can you even name a hundred people? Yo, social media has become such a status thing. You know, people wanna have a certain amount of followers to look cool. This isn't even a new thing. This is just normal. This is just, everybody knows this, but sometimes you have to realize it. Like these people will just watch you. You know, when, when I when I mention it, it lowers your vibration, like it kind of stops you from really trying to explore different things on social media. Like say you wanna make content, you're thinking, oh, what does this person think? And if you're, everybody thinks about that. Everybody, I know myself thinks about that when I'm making content. Oh, is this person gonna think it's whack? But like, do you even like, do you genuinely even like care what they think? So why even give them a platform to think if you don't even care? You know what I mean? I don't know, it's like a very weird concept, but I don't know, I just think that's the most toxic thing on social media. Let me know what you guys think, if you agree, if you don't agree. But um, yeah, you gotta clear some of these people off your social media, cause this shit, it's just whack at this point, it's just whack. Anyway, drop a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think, peace.